Hi guys, welcome back to another study with me. Today I'm going to be doing a chill edition and I hope you like it. So the first thing I do whenever I'm studying or revising is get some water. So I just filled up my cup and I filled up my bottle and I keep these by my side whilst I'm doing my work. Next I made my cardamom chai tea which I love and I have in all my videos and I just added some milk and some sugar and gave that a stir. So I brought this up to my room and decided I wanted to get in like a chill kind of study mood so I put on one of Lydia Violetta's video and just watched. So this was her video talking about I think body positivity and then I was just scrolling through showing my homework to check what I had to do. Anyways, so here I am watching her video, just chilling out, drinking some tea. Next thing I do is put on some Harry Potter ASMR and I started on my first bit of homework and that bit of homework was French so what I had to do was go onto a website and learn some vocabulary um, there was quite a lot to learn and I didn't even get through I think half of it but I tried, I did I think something like seven tasks and I kept doing it, I kept having to match up words together so that I'd be able to remember and understand them and then after that I just kept on going until I knew everything and I got 100% in all the tests that I was doing. And I think I'll continue with that later on, but for now I just decided to do some of it because it was a pretty long homework. After I did that, the next thing I had to do was for my dance exam that I had on Monday and I needed to write out I think 150 words about my dance and what it was about and why I'm using this music and so here you can see me just typing it out and uh, making sure I've got everything I wanted and then Rhiannon, my favourite study YouTuber, had a live stream of her studying and I really enjoyed this definitely go check out her channel. She's in my channels like me on the side anyways. So I just watched her video as I was doing my 150 words for dance and my editing it a bit and just generally having quite a chill time. I mean her videos are great so please check out Rhiannon. So that was all I did for that day and then after that, the next day I woke up at 9.07, I opened up my curtains and I got myself some tea for my studying. So after I had breakfast and I showered, I came back upstairs, got out my to-do list, checked everything I needed to do and got started. The first thing I did was some SAM learning and I had to do science homework on waves and I did have a test coming up on Monday anyways so it was important for me to get that done. Um, this took me a little while because there were quite a few tasks, um, normally there's only one, I think today there were like four. So anyways, I went ahead and I ticked that off my list after I was done. I decided to do was some science because we did have a lesson um, trying to summarize the topic and finish the last double page in the book however we didn't get to finish on time because there was something we had to do in class before that which means we only had about half an hour of a lesson so I put on my Harry Potter ASMR like always got out my physics book got out my notepad and started writing notes so I did I think one ultrasound and one page for infrasound because we hadn't fully done them in class so I just wrote those out
So here you can see my first page, I think this was an ultrasound and then after I was done with it I just went through and highlighted it. So I use the Stabilo pastel highlighters and for all the headings I use the green and then for all the keywords I use pink and then for the formula I used yellow. This is me now doing infrasound which is the next thing. Um, so I did another page on this. So after that was done, same thing again, I just went through and highlighted all the main points and facts. And those are my two sheets that I finished for science, but I still wasn't done with the revision. After that I'd realised I had a geography seminar coming up and I needed to do some work for it and this one was on fracking, so I decided to make a mind map. Now I don't normally make mind maps and if I do, they're never like this fancy. I normally just go for plain, but I thought, you know, I have time, I can make it look nice and pretty. So that's what I did. Um, I used my pastel Stabilo highlighter to do the big words. And then for the arrows and for the shadows, I used my Stabilo um, fine liner pens, as you can see in the box. And then this is my result. So after that, I just packed up all my things and that was it. I was done with my chill study with me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!